All right, guys, if you just watched the protein video, I'm actually gonna show you something that comes up that makes it very hard to track. So we just saw that that one scoop was actually not 29.4 grams, but closer to 34, 35 grams. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into my fitness pal. We're gonna scan our protein. And when we scan, we can see that we can't change it to grams. And obviously we're not having the whole container. So our only option really is one scoop. And we know one scoop is around 29 grams. So what are we gonna do? We're actually gonna do some math. So we're gonna take out the calculator and do 29 times 1.2. That's around 34.835 grams. That's about what we had. Now this is not as accurate, but it's gonna save you some time, especially entering all the information. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to where we just were and we're gonna enter it as 1.2. And this is gonna allow us to keep the calories and the macros as accurate as possible. Obviously there's some math involved, but this is really how you stay on top of what you're eating. And you have a little bit of an error here. I'm not really sure on the standard deviation, but doing it to this extent is gonna help you really be within five or even two to 5% accuracy. All right guys, thanks for watching.